those days I didn't see you and he didn't return my calls or my texts. I thought we'd sorted that. Yeah, you said you were working. But really, like, too busy to reply to a text. I get caught up with what I'm doing. So do I. But I'd never leave you out there feeling like you've been dumped. Is that how it was for you? Yeah. I didn't realise that. It'll never happen again. I promise. It must have been more than work. Were you having doubts about me because you can so say if you were? OK. It's true. I was having doubts. OK. But not about you. Just about whether I'm ready for all this. This what? Not... <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you. I want to be with you. I've wanted that since the first time I saw you. Why is that a bad thing? <laughs> just freaked me out a bit. It's never happened to me before. So you're just as nervous as I am? Well, if we both feel that way, maybe we should take this a little bit slower. <laughs> Whatever you think's right. Are you sure? I'm putty in your hands. <laughs> to be honest, those eggs didn't quite do the job. I wouldn't mind grabbing lunch. Oh. Jim. Jim, you all right? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I, I just bumped my head. Where's my... <sighs> you guys OK? Yeah, we're fine. What happened? Tiny error of judgment. No. No, I'm sorry. I'll see you at the house. Don't incriminate yourselves. Save me a chip. Maybe that's him. Thanks for heating these up, Beverly. This is great. Now the bloody cops think I'm lying. But we're not. We didn't know what happened. Where's Bungay? He's not here. Check the rooms. But you can't actually do that. Yes, we can. She invited us to. She's not been obstructive. Neither are we. Where is he? We don't know. No. Here I am. Licking him into shape. Who's that? Two o'clock, corporate. Maureen Kemp. You've got to be joking. She's the oldest virgin in New Zealand. Even you wouldn't get a look in. Well, she's only 20 something. I recognised her, I think. Janice, you might. She works down the street. I thought you met the other one facing us. The hell would I mean her for? Yeah, for the challenge. Janice is just a clerk. She's far too young and sweet to have you unleashed on her. I think we can let Janice decide that, can't we? Besides, she might appreciate a brush with fame. Right. So not game for Maureen then? Can't handle the rejection? How do you know she'd say no? You want to bet? Maureen is impervious to all charm and reputation. Tim, betting on a woman's virtue is ungentlemanly. How much? Well, what about Janice? I thought you How were... much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yes, I can identify this as the Sims position. And in your expert opinion, Dr. Rutherford, would you say it's possible for a male standing at the side of an examination table to be able to have intercourse with a woman lying in the Sims position? I would consider it impossible, unless he was a contortionist. Life. You're dead, Rover! You'll have to catch me first. No one outruns the Crimson. Look, I'm pretty fucking on edge right now. And with one spasm, I could turn your head into red paint. But I'm trying to be careful. So I strongly suggest you don't piss me off. All right, all right, I'm Sam, and you're Victor. You kidnapped me a couple of days ago, and you ransomed me to my wife. Your wife? What's her name? Susan! You were going to take me home. I guess the road was slippery or something. Well, Sam, if all that's true, according to this checklist, apparently I'm supposed to kill you. No, but you said it wasn't necessary. You changed your mind. I guess that slipped my mind. No, no! I remember the old days.
we used to go into town and hang out on weekends and see bands and now it's like once a year for old time's sake but that's all it is yeah well times change I was best man at your wedding and now it's like that never even happened 